One of the most disheartening things about this election is that the lefty journalists uh, are just as disgustingly in the tank and defending power as the right-wing journalists do. It's been disgusting, right? People I like, right? Paul Krugman, he's great. I love that guy. And he's just obviously writing apologetics uh, for the Clintons. And so everybody, of course, I don't even want to get into the people over at Mother Jones and Vox and the WikiLeaks revealed Ezra Klein. <laughs> very, And so they're all carrying water for power. You're not supposed to do that. Especially when that power is uh, corrupted completely, bought and sold and working against working people, which is what the Democratic Party does now. Bernie Sanders represented the people and workers and Hillary Clinton represents corporations and Wall Street. And that used to that kind of confrontation used to happen in the general election. Now it takes place inside the Democratic primary. You have a populist like Bernie who represents people and is fighting corporations. And you have Hillary Clinton who's fighting for corporations against the people. That's not hyperbole. That's what's happening. Right now, Barack Obama's trying to patch TPP as hard as he can. He's a Democrat. Everybody knows and after screwed over workers. That's why they're running from it. But here we are, even though everyone knows and no one wants to vote for either of these people. And Barack Obama can't help. I still have to pass TPP. It's what my donors want. I can't stop. It's like if, if no one showed up to vote, they'd be happiest. So what's been so disgusting is the left the journals, except for certain people, right? David Sirota. He's been keeping it real. Uh, and people are getting out, like people get on me. Like why you, I found out Robert Shearer on this show told me that I didn't even realize this, that everybody's just on their best behavior now on the left because they, they don't want to be blamed like Ralph Nader. They don't want to be blamed for, uh, Donald Trump becoming president. I didn't know that was happening. That is what's happening. And so David Sirota is like us here at the Jimmy Dore show and at the aggressive progressive we keep doing what we always did. We make fun of power and we tell you about what power is doing. Uh, especially when they're 100% corrupted. Uh, so this, so people say this stuff like, here, somebody tweeted at David Sirota. It said, w would like to understand why your reporting is so focused on Clinton. And he tweets this story from Salon in the media narrative, Hillary Clinton is corrupt. So what the hell is Donald? If she's so scared that... So that's a bullshit article Salon's running. That's a, what is, Do I don't know, Donald's some kind of clown. Who knows what Donald is? That doesn't mean Hillary Clinton is, is any less objectionable. That doesn't mean she's any less freaking corrupt. That doesn't mean she's any less right wing, war hawk in bed with Wall Street. So David Sirota tweets back, uh, because she's likely to be the next president of the United States. That's why I keep writing articles about her. What is wrong with people? Do you notice this, Ron? You're, you know, I'm, I'm in my cocoon out here in Pasadena. You tell me, what are you seeing when you go out there? Uh, are people upset if someone says something about Hillary Clinton well, and, and a comedy club or something? Yeah, I mean, I, I live in the same cocoon as you, but, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's very weird that I always thought the job of the media was to hold the powers that be accountable. Uh, and it's kind of weird, given the fact a lot of the media is part of the powers that be. Uh, David Sirota doesn't really fall into that category, so I see him kind of doing his job. He is. And answering that question correctly. I, I don't understand why there's any incentive for people to tie up and put a bow on Hillary Clinton. Even if you come to the conclusion that, yes, I, I'd rather see her th than Donald Trump, so I'm going to vote for her even though her principles, I'm against them. I respect that conclusion. I have a lot of friends that have come to that conclusion. I understand the pressure if you're in a swing state. I feel lucky given the fact that I'm in California uh, and can use my vote to make a statement easier. I feel lucky for that. Uh, but why are you putting a bow on her? What are you gaining from that? Why? If she loses, it's because she was that awful of an option. It's not the fault of any left-wing media if she loses. That's not what you're—I agree with you 100%. Unfortunately, most people aren't as clear-thinking as you are <laughs> on this topic. Steph? You know, do they blame Americans for the war in Iraq? <laughs> do they blame Americans for Afghanistan? Or They do blame we... Ralph Nader. <laughs> They blame Ralph Nader for Iraq. They go, yeah, then George Bush took us into Iraq because of Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader opposed the war. Hillary Clinton fucking supported it. It's her fault. If she would have opposed it, she was the pre leading Democratic senator in the freaking Senate from New York where 9-11 happened. And if she would have opposed it, it would have really made a difference. Uh, Ralph Nader opposed it. So did I. It didn't take a genius to see through what was happening. And everybody saw it. And we did it anyway. And I have the same feeling right now.
as we're, we're as we're just about yes. to elect Hillary Clinton. I have the exact same feeling I had before the Iraq war. Like, wow, they're really going to do this and nobody wants this. Nobody wants this and they're really going to do it. And and none of my friends who I thought were going to be screaming the loudest are screaming. Nobody's screaming about it except us. There's very David Sirota, me, uh, Lee Camp. There's a few people. There's not many people. Many people are Robert Shear. Uh, I just don't understand how people think. Uh, well, they're not aware. They they all they remember is the because the best thing the Clintons have going for them is the crazy right wing. They make you when Hillary Clinton was being uh, 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 interrogated in front of Trey Gowdy's committee about Benghazi for twelve hours. I couldn't help but cheer for her. I was rooting for her. I was rooting for Hillary Clinton. And that's what she has going for her. She has that the, the right wing is even more disgusting on the outside than they are, right? Because the Clintons are uh, ethically challenged, to put it mildly. They're not ethical people at all. At all. Okay? They're narcissists in it for themselves, like most politicians. And uh, so... I it's I, I really do feel like I felt before the Iraq war. Does you you have that feeling, Steph? Absolutely. Ron, you feel like that? I do, and and I do think she's likely to be the next president of the United States. Yes. And I can live with that, but I think we need to be very loud saying we don't want a war with Russia, Hillary. We're we getting don't one. Want that? People who are excusing, people who are cheering on their red baiting, people in the media forwarding fucking red baiting stories. Like what the fuck? Didn't, don't, so I guess there was a lot of journalists who weren't against the House on Un-American Activities Committee. I guess there are a lot of journalists who thought it was a good thing to red bait and smear people who as disloyal to America to gain political advantage. That's how they also wrecked unions, by the way. we got to get rid of the communists. Well, and it's scaring me that all of a sudden critical thinking, thinking of voting as a strategy, uh, thinking of nationalism as not a great thing, uh, all of a sudden, those aren't left-wing principles anymore, no. apparently. It's weird, hey, right? Hey, guys, WikiLeaks, should we have a comment? No, 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 Russia. Russia, 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 Russia. Russia, Russia. These are supposed to be lefty. This, this, is what, this is what Hillary Clinton does to the left. She destroys it, just like Donald Trump is destroying the right. She's destroying the left. They're ter- they've completely turned into right-wingers. Now, even on the outside, they're journalists. That WikiLeaks reveals they're all carrying water for this corporatist warmonger, and they're dishonest and corrupt. Uh, death of the left. That's my new CD. Uh-huh.